Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruscio. I'm here with George and Rose, and, and George has had some help with reading Healthy Good Healthy You, and also using our elemental diet, amongst other things. Not fully to where he'd like to be, but but definitely making some steps on the road to recovery, and he was kind enough to share his experience with us today. So George, hi, thanks for uh, sharing your story. Hi, doctor. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit about the road, uh, you know, up to now. Um, well, I've I've kind of had a lot of troubles with my stomach. It seems I've I've struggled with it. It seems like my whole life. Um, I've had heartburn problems, and I've been on all sorts of medications for that. Um, I've been taking off all of that. It was maybe six years ago where it was discovered that I had Lyme disease, and through that, I figured out how to eat properly and changed my diet and knew, you know, how important that the gut was to your health. Um, since that, though, I haven't been able to get better. And recently I found out that I've got C. diff. So now I'm struggling with C. diff and clearing that out. And that's where my wife found your book. And, you know, we've read through your book and I've been using your elemental diet and it has been a lifesaver for me. I mean, it truly feels so good in my gut when I get it in there. It's amazing. I've actually been on it now for uh, probably over three months. Now, now, I'm assuming you're kind of doing a mix and match where you're having some food and some elemental? I've been trying to mix in food, but with the C. diff, it kind of hasn't been allowing me. So I mean, even I, 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 I've been on pretty much the elemental diet for that amount of time. Um, I've been trying to throw in baby food as much as I can, um, but not having much success. So right now I'm on my third round of antibiotic treatments and starting to kind of have some success where I've started to eat some food, but I still have to have those diet, uh, liquid diets to get me through and to get calories in me. Gotcha. So if not for the elemental, really nothing I can't get any. does not go right through you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With, with severe like stomach cramps and stomach pain and then, I mean, everything that comes with it. Sure. Sure. Okay. Um, and are you using probiotics in conjunction with this? Yes, I have been. Um, we also came across uh, Michelle Moore. I think her information in regards to C. diff and what to use, and I was using a lot of her um, protocols for it all mm -hmm. in conjunction with the antibiotics. I mean, I believe in herbal medicines and all that also. Sure. Um, but I was on her stuff for about four months, and – was still having problems and still tested positive. So that's kind of why I'm now back to my third round of treatment and uh, still just trying to get my gut and intestine right. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm not sure if you've heard the discussions that we've had on the podcast before or just one of your doctors have, have made you aware of an option to consider down the line uh, once you've exhausted antibiotic therapy it could be a fecal transplant. Is this something you've heard of? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're taking all the steps to get there, but we have okay. to do the protocols. It's, yep. It's, it's been kind of, I mean, that would have been my first go-to, uh, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't have any problems with that, but the insurance has a different plan. So right. they put through all this first, and then they reserve that for the last treatment. Sure. So if I fail, if I fail after this third antibiotic round, then I'm allowed to go in and do that, mm -hmm. which I don't understand or why, but, you know. Now, you had been using antibiotics, I'm assuming, historically somewhat regularly for the Lyme. Is that, is that what you think led up to this position? I think that's what that picked it up. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, were you using probiotics at the same time you were using antibiotics historically during the Lyme treatment? On and off, not regularly. Gotcha. And definitely not, not the, last, the last few years, not enough, for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. And you've tried all three of the probiotics that I recommend in conjunction? No, I've not tried your antibiotics yet. I was working with the, the Megaspores from mm -hmm. Mr. Moore's program. Okay, so that's definitely something I would try is using all three of the probiotics in conjunction. That may be enough to kind of tip you over the edge to where you'll start to see some of the benefit that you're hoping to see and that you haven't seen yet from just one probiotic. It's not a guarantee, but there are certainly cases and some of which we've documented here on the program of people who have otherwise been non-responsive to other therapies, including probiotics, and when finally going on all three in conjunction, they saw some significant improvement. And it's, you could almost think of this, to paint a loose analogy, 
uh, you probably started off with one antibiotic and now they may be using a, a cocktail of multiple antibiotics for the C. diff. It's a similar sort of track for the probiotics where one, and, and the analogy we use here is uh, if you have a stool like you would sit on, the probiotics are trying to support balance in that ecosystem in your gut. And what you don't want is the ecosystem to fall over into imbalance. So a one-legged stool is somewhat conducive to balance, but it's wobbly. But the three different types of probiotics together are more conducive to supporting balance in that ecosystem in your gut. So something to talk with your doctor about and, and consider incorporating into the current treatment plan that you have for your C. diff. What would I want to do those while I'm doing the antibiotic treatment? Would I want to start those afterwards or what, what point would I want to be putting those sure. in? Well, well that's, this is definitely something you want to run by your doctor first. However, there is a fair amount of evidence showing that when probiotics are taken conjunctively with antibiotics, they actually increase the clearance rate of a given infection. This has been documented for H. pylori. It's been documented for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It's been documented for certain fungal infections. Um, I'm not sure if this has been studied in C. diff specifically, or if it has, I haven't seen any, any of those studies, but there seems to be this general trend that antibiotics and probiotics work synergistically, which makes sense when we understand that probiotics actually exert antibacterial action. Uh, so again, clear this with your doctor, but certainly the majority of the data thus far suggests that the probiotics will potentiate the ability of the antibiotics to clear out an infection and reestablish balance in your ecosystem okay. and reduce some of the side effects that can be associated with the antibiotics also. Right. Okay, so elemental heal uh, has been helpful, but clearly here you know, we see uh, elemental dieting almost as a rescue therapy, which certainly sometimes we need a rescue therapy, so totally fine. But now we need other supports to, in this case, really get the C. diff under control. And it sounds like hopefully with this recent antibiotic cocktail, you're making some headway. I'm hopeful that by the addition of the additional probiotics, again, clear that with your local treating doctor, that that may be able to get you over the edge into where your gut ecosystem balances out. But as you already know, FMT is something that has been shown to be very helpful for those who are otherwise non-responsive. Yep, yeah. So again, another question I had for you is, as I'm coming off my elemental diet, um, what diet should I introduce back, you know, with the foods back into? Should I be looking at a, like a, a low FODMAP diet? I mean, I'm not too familiar with all the technology or terminology, but. Sure. It's a great question. Um, you know, if the food reactivity from the C. diff is so severe, it may be really hard to get a read on what diet works best for you because you may notice you just react to anything across the board. Now, that being said, there are some diets that we know tend to be helpful for those with sensitive digestion. One is your kind of traditional um, sorry, elimination diet, like I talk about in the book, a paleo type diet or your standard kind of elimination of kind of provocating and inflammatory foods. Another could be low FODMAP. Um, and you may want to go to the paleo plus low FODMAP and start with kind of the most restrictive diet since you're coming from a very sensitive place. And then over time, try to broaden your diet. There's different approaches with how we can um, tackle this. In many cases, I recommend people kind of start working their way up that dietary pyramid from the least restrictive diets to the bottom, and then if they don't respond to those, they move up to the more restrictive diets. But since you're coming from a really sensitive, reactive place, you may want to start with the most restrictive to try to get as much benefit out of the gate as possible, and then move down the pyramid and broaden over time. So the, the paleo low FODMAP, or, or even the low FODMAP with SCD, and, and we do have a diet pyramid in the book that lays all this out, that might be the best place to start, and then incorporate some elemental diet meal replacements as part of your transition back to food so you don't go from all elemental to all food and then over time gradually try to expand down the dietary pyramid to more of a paleo or just a low FODMAP and try to scale back the amount of elemental heal that you're using. Awesome. All right, so your midstream, um, would, would you please let us know how the rest of the path goes and I, I, I'd love to kind of follow up with you post to discuss sure. and share with our audience what's worked for you. Yeah, yep, yep, will do, yep, and I'll work on those uh, probiotics and yeah. Awesome, and is there anything else that you wanna share with people, anything else that you've picked up through reading the book or through using Yellow Mental Heal? No, not right now, nope. 
Okay. Well, I'm glad the elemental heal is providing you some relief because right now I think you know any relief you can get is a huge win, right? Yeah. Uh, and you're still working the problem of, of how to get your gut back into balance and hopefully what we've discussed today will help you. But again, please do keep us posted and thank you so much for sharing your story. Great. Thank you so much, doctor. Thanks, Dr. Ruscio.